With Chainsaw Man Chapter 181, we continue down the wacky road that we've been on with Mitaka and Yoru, trapped inside of this realm with Denji that belongs to the aging devil, but there are a couple of big developments here. One that is the typical creepy Chainsaw Man that you're used to, and the other is sure to make the Mitaka and Denji shippers realize there might be a new challenger in the war for Denji's heart because Yoru has once again kissed Denji. At this point, if Reze doesn't show back up, she might might not have a Denji to fall in love with, but we'll get to that in a moment because there's a lot here with Mitaka, Yoru, and with Denji that we really got to unpack, especially with that kiss. So we open up the chapter with Mitaka walking through the forest in complete control, taking everything in, but we appear to have Yoru's internal thoughts on display as they both survey the area, looking around for a way to escape, and they come to the realization that they can just do what they did with the Eternity Devil and just turn this whole space into a weapon. The way that Mitaka Mitaka and Yoru, they turn the aquarium they are trapped inside of via the attorney devil into a weapon. It's a really good idea and there is some very sound logic with it, but the biggest problem with this line of thinking is that Yoru and Mitaka, they aren't dealing with some lowly, super annoying, but still a very lowly devil like the attorney devil. They are dealing with a primal devil and one of the strongest primal devils when you really think about how much people fear aging because of how close the aging devil is to the death devil when you think about it about it. Think about why people get things like Botox or how much money that the makeup industry makes or people they dye their hair and their beards because on a certain degree they fear getting older and showing signs of aging. Hell, I use myself as an example. I saw gray hair in my beard and I shaved the whole thing off and now I no longer rock a bearded goatee anymore even though I know men in my family tend to gray early. So it was never going to be this easy for Mitaka and Yoru but they at least owe it to themselves to at least try. However, they quickly learn things aren't going to work out the way that Yoru wanted them to. She tries to shoot herself in the head when she takes control of Mitaka's body, but her powers? With the gun devil, they've been nerfed to the point where they are non-existent. She can't even turn things such as twigs into weapons, so she is in short powerless here, and somewhere the aging devil is laughing, since it told Mitaka and Yoru that the war devil and the chainsaw devil stood no chance against it. This leads to a rare moment of humility by Yoru to concede defeat in this moment as she punches the tree and then the tree suddenly speaks and we have the most chainsaw man thing ever the trees are actually people and they have faces carved into them and it's fujimoto taking the whole expression become one with nature a little bit too literally here but in this world where devils exist and there's a whole agency devoted to killing devils you can't really rule out anything here and as readers we basically know with chainsaw man you always expect the unexpected basically what we learn is that people who are inside of here while they don't age there is a trade-off if they stay there for a thousand years then they get turned into a tree when the tree they're transformed into rots away then the person's mind and their body becomes soil and they then return their body to the real world but while we don't get told here this whole statement is meant to make you question how much time passes out in the real world. So is one year in this world the equivalent of say one second in the real world? It's never disclosed, so think about it. If a thousand years pass in the real world, then when your body returns in the real world, you're basically dead because your body, it is decomposed. That my friends is the beauty and the horror of the aging devil itself. You escape death and you live dozens of lifetimes, roughly 12 if you live to be 80, yet at the end End of the day you still die when you return to the real world if you go back and if you go by the narrative of what it's trying to imply here even if that's not the case for a person that's stuck there for that long the thought has to cross their mind at some point because they got nothing else except for time on their hands to think while we don't learn why the devil hunter in the last chapter was screaming this bit of information does make you wonder if this was potentially the reason soon after he talked about how how long he's been trapped he starts screaming it's unspoken but there's a correlation you can draw here and that's the beauty and the horror of the aging devil. You get to live longer, but you never truly escape death in this instance because based on what we have here, it makes the devil very overpowered and a clear rival to the darkness devil and a great bridge to the eventual arrival of the death devil. It's at this point that Yoru, she starts slugging on Denji and as she blames Denji for their situation, Denji finally snaps out of his funk and the depression of Denji really sets in here. Pochita was doing all that stuff before trying to make Denji laugh and regain his will to live 
Yet here we see Denji is just as torn down as before and hidden behind the dark humor of his crime for being horny, being the reason he's got to be punished. It is a bit of a dark truth and it's a reflection. He's losing himself and he feels like he needs to be punished because everyone who ever gets involved with them, they end up dead. He doesn't say their names, but this is Fujimoto referencing all the deaths of characters in Chainsman Part 1 from Himeno to Power to Aki and most recently Nayuta in the chapters of part two people that denji cared about they're all gone those who he loved are always dragged down by him and he's got someone else who he cares for an awesome mitako wailing on him blaming him for the situation they're in and for someone like denji who hasn't properly dealt with the grief that he's had since part one it just breaks your heart to see him like this especially because he doesn't know the truth about mitaka and yoru fujimoto lays it on thicker when denji breaks down into tears and he apologizes to mitaka who is again really yoru since she's in control and we get a rare bit of emotion out of yoru as she looks deeply affected by denji words here and most importantly by his tears not to sound all macho here but let's be real for a second on how society places this burden on men to not show their emotions you're supposed to be this cold hard man based off of logic and never shed tears to be able to meet the expectations of masculinity which means never crying in front of a woman especially if it's one that you care for it's supposed to be off limits if you let some people tell you how a man's supposed to behave and here we have dingy doing just that showing how far he's gotten in terms of the depths of despair that he's fallen into which leads to yoru planning a big fat kiss on denji for the climax of the chapter leading us all to wonder what's gonna happen next this was a really big chapter for denji he's not fully wrong when he says everything that he's been through it's been his fault but it's also in character for him to take the blame he's never blamed others for a situation from his childhood from how he got mistreated to how he was getting groomed and gaslit by makima throughout part one of chainsaw man denji he always took the blame for himself and he never blamed others showing how kind of a soul he truly is and how he was really just a child struggling to find his way in a world where he's only been dealt bad hand after bad hand and he just carries that load onto himself this whole time which makes me wanting to save him and return him to a normal life equally as heartbreaking because for as good as she has intentions we also have to look at what's waiting for denji if we go by past experiences which are a great indicator of the future there's only only more heartbreak and misery that's waiting for Denji and he is clearly reaching his breaking point. We joke and we meme that suffering builds character for Denji and it's a cycle that never ends but we see that Denji is acting just like that hamster running on the wheel and just as that hamster eventually grows tired, Denji has grown tired of the same thing and this might be the moment where he truly hits rock bottom because he's now being forced to deal with all the tragedy from part one and seemingly dragging another person, Mitaka, into his orbit to suffer though again we as the audience know this isn't the full case denji has had people use him and abuse him pretend to like him and those tears and all that weeping that's done by a survivor a fighter who has reached the point where he's not even sure he can keep fighting which makes that kiss tug at the heartstrings that much more while also making you wonder if there's a different motive behind it given what we know about yoru the war devil denji he does need a hug he does need true connections with people and they need to be long lasting look at how denji cried in that movie theater at the sight of human emotion on screen that was being shared when he was sitting there with makima and his thoughts were he didn't want makima to see him crying yet here he has no problem crying because he has been broken down that much he's not even thinking about his masculinity now that's what he's always needed which is why nayuta and the dogs being shown cuddled up next to him as they're sleeping definitely should come to your mind right now because denji snapped as soon after their deaths occurred and he then lost his will to live after he saw nayuta's severed head they ended up just like power the person whose last memory denji has of her telling him to find the reincarnated blood devil after she was hugging him one final time in short this chapter became the ultimate someone give denji a hug chapter and i for one i'm all for it just as you should be all for checking out these other chainsman videos on the left side of the screen